What's going on this week, Ministry? This is Barry coming at you again. Hey, if you guys are first time turn, tuning in to us, we want to welcome you. We want to say God bless. Jesus love you. So sit back and enjoy the lesson of this week. Uh, for those who are tuning in for the first time, we're going. what we're doing is basic training or Bible training. We have been called to serve Christ. Uh, if you haven't been, had the calling on your life, if you don't feel God tugging on your heart, just sit back, buckle up, enjoy yourself because we're going for a ride. Because if we're going to learn this Bible from front to back, if we're going to grow as a ministry, then we need to understand what brought us here. And what brought us here was Jesus Christ. So last week we talked about humbling ourselves, humbling ourselves before God. This week we're going to, take, we're going to learn what it takes to become humbled, what we need to do. Now, in the book of Matthew, Jesus was, in, in chapter 16, Jesus was in Judea. And he's talking about, uh, a young man approaches him and says, well, what do I need to do? I've got all I need. What do I need? What else do I need? And Jesus tells him to sell all his possessions, to get rid of everything, and to pick up his cross and to follow him. Well, the young man was sad, turned around and walked off. That is what we need to do to humble ourselves, to be willing to know that the things that we have, we can easily lose and to give up, but to understand that God will be there to pick us up. In the book of James, chapter 4, start at verse 7, it says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw nigh to God, and he will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts. You double-minded. When he's talking about double-minded, he's talking about holding double standards on ourselves. Don't be one way and go the other. Stay the course. Stay the path, no matter the obstacles that are thrown in your way. Be afflicted and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your, your joy to the heavens. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord and he shall lift you up. Just like I was telling, just like in the book of Matthew, to give everything up. All of this, your homes, your cars, your clothes, your possessions, all of that is worth nothing. One of the greatest lessons Christ taught us was how to humble ourselves before one another. And to humble ourselves, we must be willing and to have the understanding that everything that we have been blessed with can be taken away. But we must also know in humbling ourselves, God will lift us up once again. We can't keep putting a price on the things that we have. If we keep doing that, we're not going to move forward with the love that Christ has instilled in us to help our neighbors, to help the people down the road, to, so they can help those down the road, and so on and so on. It's, it's an affection. It just keeps spreading. And I would love to, I, just having the infection, that infection right here of Christ's love pumping into my heart, I just want to spread it. That's what we need to do with this ministry. That's what we need to do as followers of Christ as Christians, is to humble ourselves. As I just said, it's one of the hardest lessons. Things as greed, want, desire, pride. We need to cast all that out and humble ourselves. Amen? Hey, it's been awesome coming to you this week. Now next week for basic training, we're going to, we're going to learn about faith and how much faith we truly need. So until next week, we'll see you then. I love you. Jesus love you. God bless and have a great one.